So welcome, we felt it was about time to do another walkthrough of the Maths and Student Building. Uh, just to give you a sense of the progress that's been made and you'll soon see um, there's an awful lot of progress. I'm standing talking to you now in the Dining Commons. Um, behind me there is where a kitchen and serving point is, sort of like a cafeteria. This space will be comfortable for about 150 students uh, sitting and relaxing at any one time. Just behind that as we'll walk down there in a moment is a student lounge. This walk straight out onto Rosewood Field, overlooks Vips Taylor, uh, takes advantage of this site and we continue to enjoy this lovely environment. Walk with me while we now go and have a look at some other things. So these are the stairs that connect us from here, level one, the dining commons, straight up into level two, which would be where our heads of house and our head of senior school and deans are located. Um, so you walk straight down there, straight into the kitchen and serving point, uh, and then the dining commons. Walk and just see over here, the student lounge. So this is an area that will just have very comfortable seating. It will be available just for seniors to be able to sit and relax. Student services department will be immediately next door in some bathrooms. And straight on this side is the kitchen uh, and the serving point to acquire some food. We're now going to wander through past the breezeway and into the study area. So this is the breezeway. The avenue is just in front of me here to the east and it will have an open view straight from the top point of the avenue outside Rosewood, straight across the school, and you'll see above um, some lovely glass where the school crest will be located. You'll be able to actually see straight through this building out into the main oval and uh, the playing fields beyond. Uh, so this will be a very special place, uh, quite wide, and it'll be a place where students can both relax as well as access the rest of the school. In here is the study commons. Uh, we're calling it the incubator and the quiet room. We think it's going to be very effective. So uh, welcome to the incubator. So this part will be a place for uh, quiet study where students can collaborate, but essentially the idea instead of the student lounge is to make this space uh, really enjoyable for students. Just get on with their study. We love this space because it's like in, in the trees. Uh, we've protected all the treescape around us. So uh, the students will be literally studying in the trees. On this side over here, uh, listening to the students' advice, they, they really wanted a quiet place to study. So in behind this line here, there'll be a glass wall and it will be a quiet carriage. Somewhere people to be absolutely quiet so that they can get on with their study. There's enough accommodation in there for about 45 students. In here, uh, closer to 150 at any one time. So it'll be a very useful space for our senior students. There'll be a big uh, walkway, uh, a timber walkway that surrounds the building, so you'll be able to walk from the Kefford building straight around the building and into enjoy any of these spaces. Let's go upstairs and have a look at where our heads of houses and head of senior school will be. So now we're on level two we saw the uh, wonderful new area for our heads of house and uh, Mr. Giltrap and the deans and um, it's going to be a really special space. We're going to continue to have this as much of this timber exposed as we can just to uh, increase the sense of uh, the natural environment. The research is very uh, profound on the impact of natural materials on concentration, on wellness of being, even on retention of content. We're standing in one of the spaces uh, that's near to the spine of the building um, that has this wonderful outlook towards the east and uh, towards the avenue and Rosewood building. We intend to have a, a floor to ceiling glass here with the school crest uh, as a decal on the outside. Uh, again, as I was saying before, it allows the ability to see through the building but to con continue to enjoy it. To the north here, we've got some classrooms and in fact, um, we'll see one of the classrooms that's set up a little bit as the building will look and said, come on down this way. So there's a set of stairs that will take us now to level three. Here is a mock-up of what one of the classrooms will start to look like on the inside. Uh, see the services are exposed, but because they're in black, uh, you'll see past those into the ceiling. Uh, it'll be a very special place to learn. Uh, these operable louvers will increase the natural flow of air 
and ventilation, which will make a big difference to the sense of liveliness and vitality in the space. And of course, uh, our famous troll bridge uh, that will access straight onto Finlay Walk. Uh, I know that the students will be really looking forward. I can't wait to get out there and walk when I'm allowed to, when the balustrades are all constructed. Um, so easy access from the rest of the school into this space uh, where learning will be celebrated in quite a natural environment. Uh, the technical skill uh, by Bill Corp and its team uh, continues to amaze. Uh, and if we are very fortunate, we might even see one of the panels in this last section of the north facade being placed uh, in situ. What I love about this level is that you're almost in the canopy of the trees. So we're here on level three. Um, so I'm standing in the math staff room. Just behind here will be a nice little kitchen for the staff and then the, a common room for the math staff will be in this space as well. And then beside that is a space for the head of mathematics. Otherwise it's classrooms. Uh, clearly the facade is not in place yet. That starts late this week, early next week for this highest and uh, top level, third level uh, of the building. Again, it enjoys this fantastic outlook across Rosewood, across Phipps Taylor, and excitingly across the main oval and the rest of the campus, so that we have a sense of um, uh, the location of where we are. It will make a big difference to our students. Once again, uh, the design logic is to have as much of this timber exposed. Uh, speaking only for myself, that would have been an advantage in me studying mathematics, I think. It'll be a pleasurable place to be, um, but this area here is above where uh, the Dean's and Head of Senior School is located. It'll be a space where all mathematics is being taught in the secondary school up here. We're at the south end now, and we're going to make our way to the north end so that we can see the treetop canopy where the classrooms to the north will be located. Come and have a look. I've just been told a fun fact. There are 420 exterior cladding panels, of which we've completed 205. So we're just about halfway point, even further than that, if we think about um, the, the, the first floor, which is glass uh, entirely. It's a very exciting process to watch it all unfold. This is another one of those study nooks, as we're calling them, straight above the stairs, classrooms, and then a little gathering space where students can just relax, have a chat, um, enjoy the environment, either between classes, when they have a study period, uh, or uh, during a break or recess. Um, in this northern end, we're literally above the troll bridge, um, and you'll see how uh, we're at the highest point of the canopy that the building enjoys. Uh, and the sense of uh, the natural environment around us, the sense of breeze, um, the sense of lovely natural light that's diffused through the, through the trees, which are, are deciduous at this end of the campus in most cases. This old oak tree has been on the site for uh, countless decades, really. Um, that has the opportunity then to get the, the lovely winter light and you get a sense of um, your physical place here. So we're delighted with the progress being made. There's still lots to do, but uh, we're very, very excited uh, by what beckons in 2023. We'll be in here teaching uh, early in term two in 2023. I know from talking to the students, they're as excited about it as I am. <laughs>